Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Vizio. How are you doing? How is your practice going? Is it getting along? Or is it hard to do it? Always summer is really hard to keep up practice. There are so many things going on and especially there is a long break in the summer. So it's so hard to practice. But try to practice at least three or four times a week so that you can't keep on going. Otherwise, if you miss one day, then one day will be one week and one week will be one month. Then you will just quit the piano. So try to stay as much as you can. It doesn't have to be long. Last week, we learned primary chord, which is C chord, F chord, and G chord. Today, using this chord, we will play it in a different positions. So which will be this beautiful harmony. Now let's see how it goes. First, the inversions means changing note positions within the same chord. For example, you know what is a C, right? We learned that. C is from the C, we built up skip skin. So C, E, G is a C chord. But what if we move this bottom C to top here? Because that's the same C too, right? So still C, E, G, but playing on different positions. This is a two C chord. This is what we call first inversion. Since the bottom note moves it up, the first. And the next. This E will move it up to next E octave higher. So C, E, G is still the same note, but in different position. This is the C chord too. We call this one second inversion. Since this is the second moving up. And then after that, what if we move this G back to up here again? That's the same G, right? And C, E is a stay. Come back to C root position again. So these are all the same C chord, but playing in different positions. And it's going to make different sound too. Do you hear it? The inversion is going to make it sound much better when you play it in the left hand. Now let's find it out on G, different inversions. Where's a G? Here. Let's try it here. G, B, D. Skip, skip, skip. That's the G chord. Root position. Since G is bottom here. And what if we move this G up here? G, B, D. That's G first inversion. What about if we move this B to next up here? This is still G, B, D, but do you hear, do you see it? This G is at the middle. This is a second inversion. And if we move D up to next octave higher, this is a G root again, coming back. Why? Because G is staying at the bottom. This is the inversion. Now, what if we do the same thing in the F. Let's just start F and hear about it. F, of course, if we move it F here, then yes, F stays at the top. That's the first inversion. And if we move A up here and make it F at the middle, that's the second inversion. And what if we move it to C up here again? Then F is coming back again at the root position. That's the root position. Of course, we know it, right? Original chord. Now it's easy. Do you see it? These is inversions. We can use that one and play it C root position. And now let's see. If we play an F chord first, you know what is F, right? F, A, C. Or if we see it, which note is in common? C. C is in common. So C keep holding it. 
and F, A is F chord. So we move this E, G to stepping up. This is F chord. So from C to going all the way to F, traveling far, instead of playing like this, if we play at C, stay here, and these top two notes are shifting up. This is F chord. Isn't that easy to play it? Oh, do you think it, this is easier? Maybe it depends. But if you keep practice, definitely this inversion is much easier. Now let's find it out. This is which inversion is that? Definitely this is not the root positions. Then what is it? Now, F is at the middle. Then what is it? Second inversion. Got it? So instead of playing like this, we can play it. And then coming back to C again, C root position. And what about now? Let's try it. G chord playing it in inversions. G is G, B, D. Of course, G, B, D is G chord. C, E, G is G chord. G is in common. Then you just keep holding it and now, let's see, G chord is B and D. So from C to E, if you shift it down, then it's gonna be B, D, do you see it? So that's a C chord. And moving bottom note to down is G chord. So C to, top two goes up is F chord. C to, bottom two goes down is G chord which is most important chord, primary chord, that one while we chord. So this combination is we chord Amen. In America. And maybe in Korea, Do Mi Sol Do Fa Ra Si Re Sol. Right? Do Mi Sol Do Fa Ra Si Re Sol is we most often use, but this is primary chord. You may have heard this one before, but you didn't know what it was, right? This is a primary chord, important chords. For example, the last week, God is so good, we played in root positions. One, two, three, four. But instead of this G, what we can do? Do you remember? Holding G and going down. So. The same note. One, two, three, four. And C. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. An F. How are we gonna do F? Bottom stays, top two goes up. One, two. And C. And this time G. So hold the G and two goes down. That's how you play it. So I want you to practice when the same go marching in and New World Symphony and God is so good. Try to practice in this way. And as you practice, think about how we play. Oh, okay, C chord is a C and F chord is definitely we have to play at F. So going up. And G chord is from the C. G is definitely, we have to hold the G and then bottom two goes down. This is how you remember and try it. How is the lesson? Actually, there is no playing part, but it's just theory section. So what I want you to do, just keep go over, try to understand the inversions. every day right hand and left hand just take it up only the primary chord part and practice left hand and bring it out the music that I posted the new word symphony and got it so good write it down the chord in inversions if it's a C chord you will just write it C if it's F chord you will write this chord from C, F, A position. And if it's a G chord, you will write 
BDG, which is a second inversion chord. And practice left hand couple of times and add it both in together and play it. That's going to be your homework for this week. If you have any question, just send me a message or email me, then I will respond to you. And stay cool and I will see you next week. Bye.